What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today I have a super exciting video for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to get HTC Vive style VR games. You can play games from Steam on your brand new Galaxy S10 or really any Android flagship for that matter. So I'm gonna show you sort of the things that you need. I'll sort of give you a little bit of a tutorial and then show you a little bit of what the tracking and gameplay looks like on the device once you have it up and running. Now before we get started, you are gonna need a few things to get this going. The first thing is you're gonna need, of course, a flagship Android device like the Galaxy S10 Plus that I have right in front of me right here. Pretty much any modern Android device will work in the last couple years. I'll drop a specific link to the specs below. The next thing you're gonna need is Google Cardboard of some sort or some other viewer like Gear VR or Daydream Viewer. Now this is the special edition Star Wars BB-8 version of Google Cardboard that I actually got a few years ago. Uh, Google dropped these when The Force Awakens actually came out. Love this piece of Google Cardboard right here. Definitely one of my favorite pieces of sort of Android collectibles that I've had over the years. So that's the one that I'm actually using with this particular software. The next thing you'll need is you will need a Windows PC. Right here below, behind me I have my Lenovo Legion gaming PC. It does need to have relatively powerful specs. You're gonna need something like um, eight gigs of RAM, a relatively new processor like an i5, and a pretty good graphics processor as well. I'll drop all the main specs below. If you have a modern day gaming PC, you should be able to run the program. Now, the way you actually do this is using an app that's on the Android store and also a piece of software on your PC. The PC is gonna do a lot of the rendering and then transmit that to your Android device. So the app is called VR Ridge. This is VR Ridge 2 from Riftcat, which is the name of the software. They did sponsor this video today, so a huge shout out to them for actually alerting me to the product because it's really, really cool and I wanna share it with you guys. And also for sponsoring the video, I do appreciate that. So you gotta go download this from the Android store, the Google Play store. And then once you have that, you'll be able to go ahead and download Riftcat on your PC and get started. Once you get your PC open, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to riftcat.com slash VRridge, as you guys can see right there. Uh, you'll wanna download the software right here by clicking on the blue button. Uh, once you click download, you'll be able to go ahead and get that done. It's a 10 megabyte file, so not too bad. Um, once you download the software, you will need to sign up for an account. There are a couple different tiers of pricing. Uh, you can either get the free version, which has some limited restrictions that you can get uh, based on your total overall gameplay. You can also buy the full version of VR Ridge, it's just a single one-time payment. And if you are interested in purchasing the full version of VR Ridge, I do have a discount code for 10% off, which you'll find below in the description. You can see some of the specs that we have right there on the screen. Minimum recommended specs on both the PC side um, and also for the two different types of processors, NVIDIA versus the AMD processor as well. Uh, so lots of cool things there. You can use a controller as well. There's a lot of great features. Once you have RiftCat installed, you'll then be able to walk through and actually get into the setup and be able to pair it to your phone using either Wi-Fi, if you have a five gigahertz connection, or you can actually use a USB cable to connect it to your device if you would like. So of course the USB cable is gonna be a little bit more stable, but if you have a five gigahertz connection, you're using a very good router like the Netgear Nighthawk, which I just reviewed in my previous video, you will be able to get by on that, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. Once you open the VR Ridge software, this is what you're gonna see on your phone. That's what you'll see on your computer right there behind me. Uh, once you have it in your Google Cardboard, you can go ahead and press the play button, and then you'll start actually interacting with the VR experience. So if you go up to the top here and press play, you can see here the basic VR tracking environment here. I already set up my ceiling and my floor earlier. You will need to do that when you first sign in to the Steam software. It'll have you set all of that up, the reference point for where you're gonna use the VR device. You can actually see it's very smooth considering I'm using this over Wi-Fi with absolutely no wires. Again, if you don't have five gigahertz connection, you will wanna use a USB cord to connect your phone to the PC while you're running this. The best part about VR Ridge and RiftCat is that you can find some cool games on the Steam store and you can actually use your mouse and your keyboard as input if you would like. So you can see here I'm actually using it to play a game called Cop Academy which was a free game that I found on the Steam store. If you head over to the Steam store you'll find several great virtual reality games for HTC Vive that do allow keyboard and mouse input. You even have a list of those on the RiftCat website that you can actually find a full list that is supported. Now if you would like you can also switch your configuration to different types of controllers. You can actually have a VR Ridge controller which would be the Android phone with a gyroscope as a Steam VR controller. You can use that to control your hands with VR Ridge. You can also control it with the mouse and keyboard as I said and 
Xbox controller if you have one. You can also use a 3DOF controller as well as a Moonlight controller. So those are the options. You can configure those all with inside the settings and set up your VR experience. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use VR Ridge and set it up using Google Cardboard. Uh, once you get everything set up, you'll just be able to go ahead and slap your phone inside your Cardboard Viewer, just like I have right here, and then you'll be able to get yourself a simple HTC Vive setup running on your Galaxy S10 or any Android flagship device. Again, I'm gonna drop all the links below for setting this up if you guys are interested. They do have an iOS version that is coming out in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that if you are an iPhone user, an iPhone fan, you will be able to get the same sort of experience. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.